watching Jack Drones. Hi, Jack Rogers. Great quick um, video. I thought I'd get up quickly. You know, um, it's not one of my usual normal ones. But I wanted to talk about the Lily Drone. Lily Drone's been forgotten about now. So I think I came across this on a Facebook post where they're saying shipping fundraising updates. Uh, this this is day December the 17th, 2015. So I know over the past few weeks we've decided several engineering and manufacturing updates to your inbox. So obviously this is for people that have pre-ordered it and obviously paid for a pre-order. But it looks like they're delaying it until summer 2016. To be honest, I think they've missed I think they've missed the deadline now. I mean we, there's lots more new drains on the market. You've got the Phantom 4 object avoidance systems, you've got the Typhoon object avoidance system. And Lily doesn't even have this on this model. And if they release it this year, then they, they are backwards. They're not giving us anything new to play with. Um, I like the idea of the Lily drain, but again, they've, they've wasted, they've got so much funding to their hands, but they still haven't released the drain. They're still on a, del on a delay. So what's going on? You know, um, what's so difficult? And it looks like they've got a, like a team of 37 people, individual strong people, working with them with some fantastic backers and obviously uh, a lot of backing money behind them as well. And there's, there's, a, there's a bit in here talking about um, they have a very large amount of funding gone, gone with them with, with um, 37 individual strong. Um, there's a bit in here how much funding they've got. But apparently they've got they've got thousands of, of money behind them backing them with some sort of big um here we go so we've got some yeah fifty million dollars in a private funding so fifty million dollars if I have fifty million dollars this thing will be state of the art and it will be released this year I will get not thirty seven people I'll get more people on it I'll get the best people in the country with that amount of money funding they should be able to push get this out quicker but if you look at the website for instance the website I looked at I thought I'll check the website I've not checked it for a while so we'll look at what the spec is still to see if that since they've delayed it whether they've had I mean if I was this company if I was them I'll be adding new tech on it I'll be out improving the camera I'll be improving the spec on it for, for this year because the amount of competition now on drones it's unbelievable you know they've got to compete in theory complete um compare compete with Phantom 4 so if you're gonna have a drone like this following you around this has got to have object avoidance states there and then it's got to have it you know but again looking at the spec on here there's none of that it's still the same drone from the, when they first set, uh, came this out on, on pre-order so it's got 20 minutes flight time no flight time we need push more than this it needs needs to be upgraded um the altitude way too small 50 feet is normal or 50 feet 50 meters it's normally the maximum distance you need to be away from buildings and stuff um and 50 feet ain't gonna be you know no good for like for trees and stuff. You need to be above them or something like that, or have some sort of object avoidance system because this drone is going to be quite use, useless when it comes to, uh, this year to be uh, put on out of the market. People, they're gonna be laughed at basically. So this needs to be like 100 feet or more. Uh, speed needs to be increased more. 25 mile an hour. Uh, that's okay for running and joggers and things like that. But obviously people on um, bikes and motorbikes and cars and things like that and on the chase. You know, you're going to know people are going to be doing this. They need the speed to be higher to keep up with it. You know, and look at the video resolution. We have to look at 1080p, 60 frames per second. If they're going to make this anything competitive and anything better and something for us to go, wow, we've got to have the video resolution at least 4K. Or if you're looking at high speed because you're looking for this for like chasing people, you know, or chasing what you're doing, skydiving, cliff diving, whatever you want to do, then obviously, you know, you want 4K for the best view. Or if it's car chasing and stuff like that, you can do or motorbike BMX chase, chasing, then obviously 1080p. But we need higher frame rates. Frame rates need to be mega improved. This camera needs to make be improved. Yeah, the photo resolution is not too bad. 12 megapixels, more or less standard in the Phantoms as well, you know. But um, video resolution is is way uh, you know it's not it's it's too slow, too small. We need it need it to be improved on that. And we need a, a uh, object avoidance system. We've just got sensors. Just got the normal basics. Um, we've got the GPS, we've got the face forward and camera, we've got the bottom facing camera, you know, but there's no object object avoidance. Where is it? It should be on this. They're going to release this drone this year. It's got to have something like that. Otherwise, they're going to look at this and say, this is just another drone. You know, would you want to pay for something like this? And I mean, in memory, every drone more or less is, is nearly shipped with like 16 gig uh, of SD card. They're only shipping four, um, which is, you know, again, even including that, crap. Um, for our back time charging, yeah, so it's just those little bits, but no, I think they need to really improve and, and do something different with this. I don't know, that's my thoughts, but what, what do you guys think? 
do you think you'll invest in the, in the Lily Jane? So look at the pre-order. So looking at $919, um, say that's probably roughly about £800. Um, in theory, I would rather spend that on the uh, Phantom 3 Standard because the Phantom 3 Standard will follow you. And it's the Phantom 3 Standard, even it's the basic of the Phantom models, that has better tech than the Lily Drone does. So if I was going to waste my money on a drone that's going to follow me, I would do it in the Q, uh, Q, um, Q500 or the uh, Phantom 3 Standard. Um, but I wouldn't want to waste my money on this because, again, this is not showing me. I mean, it's, it's got a maximum height dis distances. People won't want to fly at 50 feet. They'll probably want to go a bit higher, especially if they're um, chasing around between trees and stuff. They want to be above the trees, especially if you've got no object avoidance system on this. So anyway, that's my thoughts. But what do you guys think? Do you think the Lilies had it now? It should be just scrapped? Or do you think they should literally use that 15 million pounds and really improve this and make this like, well, they really need to make, well, I'll let you decide, guys. What do you reckon? So let me know. Comments below. Remember to subscribe, uh, hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, I'll speak to you in the next one. So remember, comment below. Um, we'll probably pick this up again. Uh, I'm next, I'm going to keep an eye on this for the next few months now to see if they actually do make any improvements on tech because that's where they're lacking at the moment. So, speak to you soon. Cheers. Hi, you're watching. Okay. Hi, you're watching Jack's Drones. <laughs>